Hi everyone, it's me again, DJ, just giving you another video update. So since Thanksgiving is coming around in America, I figured I should talk about Thanksgiving here in Korea, which is called Chuseok. Um, what's different is that Chuseok is a time for, you, for Koreans to honor their ancestors, whereas in American Thanksgiving, we talk about, I guess, pilgrims and um, people landing in America and then we feast over a great meal. Um, here in Korea they do have that family aspect and then having a really big meal after they're um, honoring their ancestors but it's a little bit different because they do have that cultural aspect of harvest and respect to the ancestors before them. So what I did was nothing Korean-like unfortunately but I did go out to two amazing places um, that I guess tourists are always recommended to go. Place was called Latte World, which was in Seoul, and the second place was Everland, which is in Suwon, which was quite a distance so away. I hope you enjoy the clips of what I thought, and I will be giving, I guess, some you know things that I like, some things I didn't like about the two theme parks, but in general, um, I had a really fun time. So enjoy the next video clips, and I'll see you soon. So being a resident of California, Latte World reminded me a lot of Disneyland. Um, in the sense that it was very cutesy and kind of childish, but nothing wrong with that. I had a lot of fun. I really liked the fact that there was both an indoor and outdoor part of the park because when I went there at night um, with my group, it was actually raining at first, but eventually the rain cleared up, so it was really lucky that we got to go outside and see the castle, which reminded me a lot, again, of Disneyland. The rides weren't too extreme. I mean, it was really crowded, so that was kind of a bummer because you would line up for at least an hour until you rode, but that's the same any park you go to. And going to Everland, um, in comparison, I would say Latte World was a great place to go if you wanted to take pictures, and it was really convenient, but it wasn't really my favorite part of the park. It was just a great place to see. And then now going to Everland, um, in comparison, I thought um, it was a lot bigger, I mean obviously since it was not in Seoul, so there was a lot of great things to see. The rides um, were really fun, especially that I went during Chuseok, so there weren't as many people, so it was easy to get along to different rides. Um, what's different also was there's animals and a zoo, and I really, really loved the night show. Um, that was by far my favorite thing to see because I just love how like elaborate the light shows were. And at the very end, a show, just like Disneyland actually, but with an elaborate story and fireworks. So I really enjoyed my time at Everland. So it's a very short video blog for this week. I hope you enjoyed what I had to say, but in my own reference, I would just like to summarize that going to those two theme parks kind of depends on your own preference, especially when it comes to location and time and prices. I went during Chuseok, which was, a, I guess, a foreign um, holiday special for at least Everland, and going to um, Latte World, it was a foreigner night special, so I only got to experience the park really half of the day, whereas in Everland, I got to spend the whole day there, so I really liked Everland a lot more because of that because I got to see a lot of parts of it and got to ride um, the different rides during like multiple times. So I had a really good experience um, at Everland. So if I were to choose, Everland was definitely a better experience even though it was further away. But in general, I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving back in America. I will really miss it because I miss Thanksgiving food. But it's okay because I will talk about another video about the food here I've been eating in Korea. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry about the vlogging. It doesn't seem to be going well. But hey, I have one more month left. So I hope to keep you updated. Bye.